In this video, we will introduce Jira's workflow feature. Workflows in Jira often represent business processes, such as how a software development team tracks and fixes bugs. To visualize a workflow, we can go to an issue and then click on the View Workflow link, which will show us the workflow the current issue is using. As we can see, a workflow consists of primarily two components. The rectangles are called steps, which represent the state or the status of an issue. The arrows are called transitions, which represent the actions, which will push an issue from one step to the next. Now, there's also a step that is highlighted in yellow, which represent the current step of the issue. Now, we can push or transition an issue from the current step to the next by clicking on one of these workflow transition buttons. Now, once transitioned, you will notice the status field value has changed in this case, from open to in progress. You will also notice that the workflow transition buttons have also changed. Now, this is because different steps will have different outgoing transitions. So what we are going to see next is to look at how to change workflows by adding new steps. In this case, we will be adding a new step called in backlog that will allow users to move issues that do not require immediate attention to a bucket. So the first thing we have to do is to go to the Jira Administration Console and then click on Workflows. Now this page lists all the workflows in Jira. The active section lists out workflows that are currently in use. And the inactive section, once we expand that, lists all the workflows that are not in use. The workflow we want to update is a test project workflow. Now one thing to keep in mind is when editing an active workflow, Jira creates what is called a draft that will need to be published once we have finished making our changes. Jira provides two workflow authoring tools, a graphical editor called the diagram mode, and also a text mode editor, which is the original workflow authoring tool before the diagram option was introduced. In this example, we will be using the diagram editor now, the first step is to create a new status that will represent our new step. And we can do this by clicking on the Add New Status button. So we will call our new status in Backlog. And we can also select an icon representing our new status. Now, once we have created our new status, we can simply drag and drop that into our workflow. So now that we have our new step in our workflow, we need to create a transition that will lead an issue from the open step to the in backlog step. And we can do this by clicking on the Create Transition button. And first clicking on the originating step, and then the destination step. So now we are creating a new transition. So the first thing is to give it a name. Now, when creating a name, it is a good idea to name it starting with a verb, such as move to backlog. Now we can also choose if the transition will have a view. So if we choose a view, such as workflow screen, when the user executes the transition, a screen will be displayed. So now we have created our first transition, which will lead the user to transition an issue from open to backlog. Now we also want to have the ability to move the issue back from in backlog to open. So we have to create a new transition going in the other direction. And we will call this reopen. So now we have created a new step called in backlog and two transitions going back between open and in backlog. So now we have finished our changes, we can publish them by clicking on the Publish Draft option. Now when publishing a draft, we can also choose to create a backup of the old workflow, just in case our changes create a problem. So once we have published our changes, if we go back to the original issue, 
and then clicking on stop progress to move it back to the open step. We can see in the, new, the workflow option, we have our new move to backlog transition. Clicking on that, we get our workflow transition view. And once we have confirmed, we can see the status has changed to in backlog. And we also have the reopen option. And if we click on that, we can move the issue back into the open status.